Hello folks, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to move data from one region to another region using Amazon S3 cross region replication. It is very simple to set up. We just need two buckets, both of them with versioning enabled and then using the advanced management uh, options, we are, can replicate the data from one region to another region. So let us do that in a quick demo. I have got my S3 dashboard open and let us create a source bucket. I'm going to call it CRR source bucket and I'm going to enable versioning here. Click on save and then let us have all other actions as default. So let my source bucket getting created. Let me go ahead and create my destination bucket also. I'm going to change the middle word destination and I'm going to put it in Virginia. Let me find it. Yeah, there we go and let me enable versioning here as well so create bucket so i have both the buckets ready so let me open the destination here and i'm going to go to properties and ensure that versioning is enabled on my destination you see here i'm on my destination bucket and let me go back to my source bucket and it gives me an error saying properties were not set so i'm going to quickly go to my properties and see versioning is set or not so for some reason it is not set in Mumbai properly. So let me go ahead and do that. So versioning is set on my source bucket as well. So the next step for doing uh, replication is go to management tab and you will have replication here. Click on replication, click on add rule. And I'm going to say add all the contents and keep the status as enabled and replicate any encrypted object as well. So click on next. And then what is my destination bucket? It has to be CRR. It's going to take a while for the data to be picked up. Sometimes it uh, doesn't pick up quickly. So what we can do is we can quickly refresh our screen to get the data. It has not picked up our repli uh, replication destination bucket. So let me just go ahead and see if it has picked up now. Go next. It is loading the buckets. So in a short while, we should see our destination bucket. There we go. And I'm going to change my storage classes. I'm going to say use S3 KMS and storage class is going to be reduced redundancy in my target. Click on next. And I don't have an IAM role set up for this one. So I'm going to allow Amazon to create a new role for me to do this function. So click on save. If you have an existing role, you can choose that. Otherwise, you see here it's creating a new role and it has done that and it is going to enable the replication now. So now replication feature has been enabled. Let us go ahead and upload some objects and see whether we can replicate the data. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some files. I have marked some of them as mini so that they can get uploaded faster. Click on open and upload. So it's all taking into effect. And you see here already uh, all my objects have been uploaded and it is reflecting here on my source bucket. Now let me head over to my destination bucket and see if the data has been duplicated. You see here the data is uploaded at 1101. Let me go to my destination bucket. And you can see here I am in my destination bucket and the data is having the same modified timestamp. So if I go to my source, it is the same and it is my destination is the same. But in the destination, you can see here the storage class has been moved to reduced redundancy storage. As you can see here, all of them have been moved to this type of storage now. So that is how quickly you can set up uh, data to uh, replication between two different regions in Amazon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or like us. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.